it's, it's cool to hear back from students that, you know, they, again, may or may not have loved math but they get that you cared about them, that you wanted the best thing for them, and that whether they made an F, a D, or an A in the class, that you cared about them and, your, and their success. And you know, there, there are many times when you will start a school year and you will have a student in class who you might consider to be a little bit more challenging or a little bit more difficult for you. You don't know that you're gonna be able to make that connection right away and it's just amazing you know to see how far students can 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 come and not just you know from a teacher perspective of what may or may not have happened in your classroom but just seeing them mature and in, in, in all the things that go with that and I would say that's what makes teaching such a rewarding career is that um, you know you do get to see the heart of these guys you work with and you do get to see that there's a future out there for them and, fit, and that they can be as passionate about what they're going to do in the future as I am about teaching. You know, as a, as a driver, um, I feel like that your, your job is very important and very needed. You know, we get the opportunity as the driver to be the first person that those children see and the last person that they see that is connected to the school. And what an amazing opportunity that is for us, you know. I look at it as an opportunity to speak into their lives and be that positive person in their life. I remember um, several years ago, I had um, a route and picked up these two little children and they would get on the bus and they were dirty and they were, you know, hair messed up. and. It just so happened that they were on my route at the beginning, so I made arrangements and told the parents I need them there about five minutes earlier. And so I would leave early, and I would actually wash their hair, comb their hair, and braid it, do whatever I needed to do um, to get them, you know, presentable. And I look at it as um, ministry, you know. I look at it as opportunity to love them and. I want them to feel loved. I want them to feel like that they're wanted. They're not a burden. I think it's important to leave an emotional impact on a daily basis. I mean, not just giving them a plate and handing them, have a good day, enjoy your lunch. That's not what it's all about. You know, like we're probably one of the first faces they see every morning, you know, and telling them good morning, feeding them something good that they know they're gonna like. It could be the first morning they, they probably get. They, they may not have parents that are probably going home and then they don't get to say good morning to them. So I, I, I was there at one, one point in my life and it um, makes me feel very blessed and grateful that one, I do have that opportunity. I believe anybody can make a difference. I believe as far as our maintenance crew, everybody, I don't think anybody's better or above anyone. You know, I believe everybody plays that key role. It's all a dominant effect. When you have that opportunity, you gotta be willing to jump and have that confidence that your parachute will open. Even if you do fail, get back up and try again. But at least you're making a difference. If you make that difference, no matter who you are, no matter what you do or your position is, I think you can make a difference. Have faith and don't be afraid to take that chance.
it's it's cool to hear back from students that you know they again may or may not have loved math but they get that you cared about them that you wanted the best thing for them and that whether they made an F, a D, or an A in the class that you cared about them and, your, and their success. And you know, there, there are many times when you will start a school year and you will have a student in class who you might consider to be a little bit more challenging or a little bit more difficult for you. You don't know that you're going to be able to make that connection right away. And it's just amazing, you know, to see how far students can 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 come and not just you know from a teacher perspective of what may or may not have happened in your classroom but just seeing them mature and in, in, in all the things that go with that and I would say that's what makes teaching such a rewarding career is that um, you know you do get to see the heart of these guys you work with and you do get to see that there's a future out there for them and, fit, and that they can be as passionate about what they're going to do in the future as I am about teaching. You know, as a, as a driver, um, I feel like that your, your job is very important and very needed. You know, we get the opportunity as the driver to be the first person that those children see and the last person they see that is connected to the school. And what an amazing opportunity that is for us, you know. I look at it as an opportunity to speak into their lives and be that positive person in their life. I remember um, several years ago, I had um, a route and picked up these two little children and they would get on the bus and they were dirty and they were, you know, hair messed up. and. It just so happened that they were on my route at the beginning, so I made arrangements and told the parents I need them there about five minutes earlier. And so I would leave early, and I would actually wash their hair, comb their hair, and braid it, do whatever I needed to do um, to get them, you know, presentable. And I look at it as um, ministry, you know. I look at it as opportunity to love them and. I want them to feel loved. I want them to feel like that they're wanted. They're not a burden. I think it's important to leave an emotional impact on a daily basis. I mean, not just giving them a plate and handing them, have a good day, enjoy your lunch. That's not what it's all about. You know, like we're probably one of the first faces they see every morning, you know, and telling them good morning, feeding them something good that they know they're gonna like. It could be the first morning they, they probably get. They, they may not have parents that are probably going home and then they don't get to say good morning to them. So I, I, I was there at one, one point in my life and um, makes me feel very blessed and grateful that one, I do have that opportunity. I believe anybody can make a difference. I believe as far as our maintenance crew, everybody, I don't think anybody's better or above anyone. You know, I believe everybody plays that key role. It's all a dominant effect. When you have that opportunity, you gotta be willing to jump and have that confidence that your parachute will open. Even if you do fail, you get back up and try again. But at least you're making a difference. If you make that difference, no matter who you are, no matter what you do or your position is, I think you can make a difference. Have faith and don't be afraid to take that chance.
I'm Brad Swafford, Superintendent of Schools. Welcome to the 2022 Branson High School graduation ceremonies. Thank you for joining us.
That much or more? Okay.
good evening. Please remain standing. Gentlemen, please remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem. You may be seated. Good evening, I'm Jack Harris, principal at Branson High School. On behalf of the Branson Board of Education, the Branson High School Administration, and the faculty and staff of Branson High School, we would like to welcome you to the, commitment, the commencement exercises of the Branson High School Class of 2022. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the following people for their role in preparing for tonight's ceremony. The Branson Air Force, JROTC, Color Guard, under, under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Chris Brayman. The BHS Pride Band, under the direction of Mr. Daniel Jarrett. The BHS Senior Ensemble, and Mr. Jacob Carlu for their rendition of tonight's national anthem. The BHS Custodial Staff, Branson Maintenance Crew, Ms. D. Gordon, and Dr. Chip Arnett for the setup for tonight's graduation ceremony, Mr. Rob Watson and our transportation department for their help and cooperation with the shuttling service, Dr. Michelle Brenner, Christian Plaster, and our student interns for their technical assistance for tonight's ceremony, our Branson Public Schools Board of Education for their dedicated service to the students and community, as well as, their, as for their support for tonight's commencement activities. 
the Branson High School faculty and staff for the important role they play in the preparation and execution of this, gradu of this graduation ceremony, and to the countless others whose hard work has made this evening possible, we say thank you. I would now like to introduce you to our speakers for this evening. We will have two individual speakers tonight for the class of 2022. Representing our National Honor Society is NHS President Shelby Heil. Shelby is the daughter of Chad and Danielle Heil. Shelby has provided exceptional leadership throughout this school year and is a leader in multiple BHS sports and activities. Let's hear a round of applause for NHS President Shelby Heil. Typically speeches begin with a hello, but mine begins with a goodbye. Goodbye to Friday night lights and milk jugs. Goodbye to staying up late trying to find a Quizlet to finish an assignment. Goodbye to wishing for snow days. Goodbye to Bosco sticks at lunch. Goodbye to the anticipation of having your friends in all your classes. Goodbye to the teachers and staff here that want nothing more to, than to see us succeed in life. Goodbye, Branson High School, where we spent some of the best memories of our lives. As we say these goodbyes, we can look forward to saying all the hellos. Hello to making new friends. Hello to new relationships. Hello to a new career, joining the military, or even being a freshman again. Hello to new opportunities, and hello to new memories. Life will throw many curveballs at you, but God has a plan. We must put our trust in Him and enjoy these new opportunities and memories. Jeremiah 29:11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. My wish for the class of 2022 is that we cherish every moment and we live life with no regrets. Usually speeches end with a goodbye, but mine ends with a hello. Hello to the new chapter of our lives. Thank you, Shelby. Our next speaker is our student council president, Rhett Garner. Rhett is the son of Lane and Jamie Garner. Beyond the typical duties of a normal school year, our student council hosted the Missouri Association of Student Councils State Convention at BHS over this past spring break. This was an excellent event, and it had a great deal to do with this young man's leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Rhett Garner. Good evening, and I'd like to welcome parents, administration, teachers, community members, family friends, other esteemed guests, and of course, the graduating class of 22. It's an honor to speak in such of such, sorry, speak in front of such an outstanding group of individuals tonight as I get to speak in front of them. We are all here to celebrate an amazing achievement that's 13 years in the making the graduation of Branson High School seniors, the class of 2022. Give y'all a quick round of applause. <laughs> However, even as we sit here tonight, this was not always a group of seniors. It seems like just yesterday that we collectively entered this new building as a squirrely group of freshmen. Appropriately, we are tucked away in the freshman wing and left to find our way in a big building full of older, more mature, and hopefully more knowledgeable students. However, the things that we didn't know were quickly learned. For example, we didn't know about the pool on the roof or fifth hour swim team practice, but thankfully the upperclassmen were able to enlighten us there. We didn't know about the world famous fresh fruit and veggie bar. It really is world class. But thankfully, Dr. Harris graciously reminded us of its presence each morning during his announcements. We didn't know 
you know, my notes here just say to say something non-cliche about COVID, but I think it's all been said. We, we know that happened. We'll skip it. <laughs> In reality, though, as much as it might have seemed like it wasn't that long ago, it, even if it flew by, that was four whole years ago that we walked in the doors of the Freshman Center, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and as I said, we quickly learned the things we needed to know. However, even with every unknown we entered high school with, we did know one thing. Collectively, we made up the class of 2022, and these were our people. Look around, graduates, at those next to you. These are the people that you knew would be your crutch during the most difficult times, those who would help you celebrate all of your successes and achievements during the four years, and those that would hopefully make your high school experience a little bit more bearable and hopefully even enjoyable at times. Over those four years, we could not have learned everything alone. Our teachers and administrators shaped and taught us in order to promote the growth that got us to this point. Speaking of growth, some of y'all even got more mature during those four years. Although, I don't know if I achieved that, as my friends and I had to be told multiple times at lunch this semester to stop throwing carrots at each other and across the lunchroom. So, you know, you, you take the wins you can get. Honestly, as I stand before you tonight, I am not at all convinced that I'm the most qualified student out of this crowd to give this speech. In reality, the crowd of graduates here in front of me contains students who are smarter than me, students who have had to endure more trials in high school to get to this point, and students who would plainly be able to stand up here and be more inspiring at this podium. This is not a bad thing, however, as I believe this concern of mine shows the broad range of skills, stories, and individuals encompassed in our graduating crowd. Sitting among this group includes our next generation of doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, infrastructure workers, IT specialists, and so, so much more. In the grand scheme of our lives, high school is not the most significant time frame. However, everyone that's sitting here has successfully completed it, and everything that has happened over the course of the last four years has shaped us into the people that we are today. This graduation is meaningful because it marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new, very exciting one. On that note, I believe that now is the time to let this not be an end, but rather a beginning, a time to look at the bright futures that lie ahead of all of us. I know that this group is gonna achieve great things, and I'm so excited to hear about all of those achievements. Congratulations again to the class of 2022. Tonight is our night. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Brad Swafford, Superintendent of Schools, and it is my pleasure and honor to recognize the 2022 Graduates of Distinction. When your name is called, would you please stand and remain standing? Kylie Dandini. Yeah. Rhett Garner. Yeah. Carter Jenkins. Charles Motley. Wyatt Carlson. Owen Dean. James Ryan Houston, Emma Matthews, William Hay Stark, Brooke Cox, Cade Goodwin, Abigail Rushing, Hallie Bliss, Joshua Bartram, Langley Miller, Camber Hawkins, Joel Robertson, Garrett Beckham, Caden Justice, Madison Ranke, Kaylee Thomas, Connor Candler, Ethan Jones, Sean Greeley, Madeline Bowles, Kyle Scarborough, Isaiah Fulton, Stone Hose, Patrick Booker, Lauren Laws, Blake Green, Joanna Landsman,
Tristan Pierce and Ishva Patel. Please congratulate these seniors. You may be seated. Seniors of the BHS class of 2022, we're gonna do something a little different tonight from the normal principal speech. Although this speech still comes from a principal. The speech tonight comes in the form of two fictional letters written by a Dr. Robert C. Howe. Dr. Howe served in the United States Army during the Korean War, was a longstanding principal at North Kansas City High School served as president of the Missouri Association of Student Councils, of, excuse me, not Student Councils, Rhett, you got me thinking there, Missouri Association of Secondary School Principals during the 1980s and was even on the National Principal Association and who was invited to the White House three times during the Ronald Reagan presidency. The letters we are going to read tonight are originally from Dr. Howe's time as a principal and we have modified them only slightly to pertain to students in the 21st century. The first, title, the first is entitled, Letter from Mom, and is addressed to her son's teacher about some of her son's unique qualities as he prepares to enter kindergarten. The second letter is entitled, Letter from the High School Principal, and is addressed back to the student's mother upon completion of his high school studies. In order to assist us tonight with the reading of these letters, Come on forward, ma'am. We have chosen Dr. April Hawkins, principal of Buchanan Elementary. But more importantly, on May the 13th of 2022, is the mother of Jake and Camber Hawkins, BHS graduates of the class of 2022. Here's the letter from mom. Dear teacher, please find attached to this note, five-year-old boy and girl, much cleaner and quieter than usual, and with a new haircut and clothes. With them goes prayers from their mother and their father. They're both good at creating messes and chaos, very adept at using iPads, MP3 players, and attracting stray cats, dogs, and turtles. They especially enjoy riding bikes, scooters, playing sports, jumping on trampolines, going barefoot, and using their clothes as napkins. They are allergic to picking up after themselves, bedtime, taking out trash, and coming the first time they are called. They need to be taught and spanked or held accountable loved and spanked, or given natural consequences, and reminded to blow their nose and come straight home from school. After having them in your class and maybe on your nerves, you may not be the same, but I believe you'll be glad to know because while they have strewed books and assignments, toys and jackets, they have a special way of scattering happiness, joy, and kindness written, I'm afraid with prejudice, their mother. You guys stay there. Dear mother, please find attached to this diploma an 18 year old boy and girl, much more mature with loftier ideals and goals than they had when you sent them to us some 12 years ago. With them, go the prayers of their teachers and friends. They're good at different things now. They have more understanding of the world about them. They are able to do mathematical computations, know something of the scientific approach to, solve, to problem solving, can read and write in at least the English language, and have probably developed some 21st century skills in technology, art, and also knowing how to get along with others. They are still allergic to picking up after themselves, bedtime, taking out the trash, and coming the first time they're called. They still need to be taught and loved, but perhaps not spanked. 
They need to be reminded of the responsibilities of adult membership in the American society, to uphold the ideals of good citizenship, integrity, honesty, justice, humility, and purity of life. They need to realize that the completely successful life involves a partnership with their family, their community, their country, and their God. They should be told that education is a never-ending process and only begins at the schoolhouse door. After having them in our classes and on our nerves, we are not the same. We're better people, enriched by their presence, broader in our understanding of humanity for having known them. We think we have provided them with an unbounded opportunity to learn in an atmosphere that has as its principal purpose the development of well-informed citizens who can carry on the great traditions of America. We love them too, written also with prejudice, their principle. Thanks, guys. You guys are good. Nice job. Thanks so much to Becca Notham and Channing Casey for their assistance with our presentation this evening. Mr. Fries. Mr. Fries, it is my privilege on behalf of the faculty and administration of Branson High School to confirm that these students, the Branson High School class of 2022, have met or exceeded all of the requirements as set forth by the Branson by the Branson Board of Education and the state of Missouri in order to graduate. Class of 2022, congratulations. On behalf of the Board of Education, we are proud of what you have accomplished. As you embark on this new path, I encourage you to pause and look back over the past several years. I'm sure you'll realize that many days were very, very long. But in essence, the years were pretty short. Think back to the many memories of the first day of school, group projects, field trips, play dates, and even gifting Dr. Harris pink flamingos. You've been challenged to do things you never thought you'd be able to do and those people have worked together to make you the person you are today. Someone who is graduating and ready for the next chapter and new set of opportunities. As you reflect back, think of those who have had the largest influence in your life. Parents, siblings, grandparents, friends, other family members, along with teachers and administration. They've all been a tremendous source of encouragement and support through the years. And I encourage you, don't forget about them on this special evening and tell them what they mean to you. Actor Jody Foster said this once about graduation. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course. As you believe, you bob aimlessly in the current. But wouldn't you know that our path was really there all along, waiting for you to knock waiting for you to become. And this path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders. It belongs to you. Because your path is your character that is defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus. Dr. Harris, on behalf of the Branson R4 Board of Education, we accept this class of 2022 and we wish them the very, very best as they proceed on the various paths in life.
Shelby G. Heil. Red Grayson Gardner. Julian Domingo Arambolo. Joseph Benson Ellsworth. Riley Scott Stafford. Michaela Michelle Lee. Nolan Brooke Jacobs. Hallie Catherine Bliss. Caden Alexander Mazinski. Cameron Michael Morrison. Henry Grant Holden. Owen Edward Keen. Gage McKinley Phipps. Brooke Alexandra Cox. Grace Michelle Clark. Edgar Yamil Acevedo. Dakota Lee Ackerman. Elizabeth K. Adams. Alyssa Marie Altum. Pilot T. Escone. Row one, you may be seated. Row two, please stand. Angel Elizabeth Ashbaugh. Landon Morgan Atwood. Logan Douglas Atwood. Hannah Marie Bacon. Brian Barbosa. Adrian Lee Barnes. Joshua Caleb Bartram. Elise Alana Beatty. Dylan Matthew Bauman. Garrett Thomas Beckham. Jenna Josefina Bernhardi. David Dean Bogardis. Peyton Marie Bonzi. Patrick Henry Booker the Fourth. Ayana April Boyd. Natalia Lynn Bradley. Anderson Bruce Brashears. Jameson Edric Bronner. <laughs> William Alexander Bremer. <laughs> Kayla Don Brenner.
Row two, you may be seated. Row one, three, excuse me, row three, please stand. Zania T. Brasino. Thomas Nathaniel Bricky. Matthew Don Brown. Jason David Browning. Timothy John Burdu, Devin Charles Butterworth, Miara Renee Campbell, Connor Michael Candler, Chase Elizabeth Carlin. Isaac Ramon Carlino. Wyatt Whitson Carlson. April Marie Carney. Chelsea Lee Carter. Emmanuel Joseph Sinobio. Seth Landon Ray Chambers. Roswell Vernon Chapman. Adrian Elise Chavez. Rocio Chavez Alvarez. Jacob A. Childress. Row three, you may be seated. Row four, please stand. Lucas K. Christofferson, Taylor Nicole Cobb, Ismail Giselle Cueo, Heath Michael Cole, Remington James Collins, Keely Dean Colliver. <laughs> Ashton Matthew Connor. <laughs> Colson Blake Conway. <laughs> Colton Stevens Cooper. Anthony Adam Cornett. Landon Clark Covey. Kendall Ann Creech. Riley Janae Kraus. William Seth Cummings. Tristan Garrett Custer. Bryce Adam Dalmas. Kylie Diana Dandini. Riley Joseph Davison. Woo! 
Evan Anden Davies. Madison Ann Davis. Row four, you may be seated. Row five, please stand. Tori Ann Davis. Wyatt Abner Davis. Kaylee Christine Davison. Owen Matthew Dean. Owen Christopher Deering. Alexander James Deckard. Jacob Andrew Decker. Desiree Alaria Dehart. Hunter Michael Donath. True Hope Dooley. Kevin Ray Dukes. Noah Montgomery Dunn. Emma Claire Duval. Carlton Vaughn Epps. Callie Marie Essick. Parker Kane Foley. Abigail Elaine Fonjami. Angel Amani Ford. Danilin Kathleen Fox Kosheski. Row five, you may be seated. Row six, please stand. Ezekiel Aaron Freed. Tyler Paul Friermuth. Trinity Andrea Frick. Sage Amber Friend. Ethan Daniel Fullington. Isaiah Lynn Edward Fulton. Carlos Galvan. Seth Edward Gannon. Drew Charles Garrison. Jordan Elizabeth Garza. Faye Gilbert. Carletta Colleen Gillum. Michaela Elizabeth Gillen. Darren Adrian Gillen.
Mallory Ann Gilliland. Fabian Gomez. Elisa Kayla Gonzalez. Zach Ray Gonzalez. Madison Jean Good. Cade Douglas Goodwin. Row six, you may be seated. Row seven, please stand. Rachel Ann Grabowski. Talisha M. Grayson. Sean Riley Greeley. Blake Douglas Green. Chloe Ashlyn Grimm. David Lewis Hadler. Riley Ann Hall. Tiana L. Hall. Abby Joanne Harmon. Alana Janelle Harmon. Alexis Shea Harris. Jacob Daniel Hawkins. Camber Ray Hawkins. Dawson Wayne Helms. Esteban Matthew Hernandez. Marco Antonio Hernandez. Milton Riquelme Hernandez. Jaden Douglas Herman. Aaliyah Ann Heepsh. Row seven, you may be seated. Row eight, please rise. Lance David Hines. Landon Matthew Hogue. Chase Reed Holcomb. Trinity Leanne Holden. Emma Sue Holloway. Larry Allen Homer the third. Stone Nolan Hose. James Ryan Houston. Somebody. 
Mackenzie Lynn Hudson. Serena Elizabeth Ann Hules. Mia Catherine Huey. Caitlin Marie Hunt. Carter Thomas Jenkins. Bryn Elizabeth Johnson. Brittany Nicole Jones. Sheldon Hillard Jones. Ethan Grant Jones. Jackson Taylor Jones. Molly Claire Jones. Caden Taylor Justice. may be seated. Row nine, please stand. <laughs> Ulysses Grant Keller. <laughs> McKaylee Ann Kinnon. Reese Christopher Kimmons. Emily Renee King. Cameron Scott Kirchman. Arian Noel Kerfman. Ella Mae J. Kirkland. Jodon C. Kirkland. Caleb Kirkpatrick, Anna Paulina Koenig, Naomi Faith Kosheski, Madison Paige Lane, Sydney Amber Sue Langer. Kale McGuire Langton, Joanna Marie Lanceman, Kira Ashlyn Large, Kaylin Day Lassiter. Lauren Ann Laws. Jordan Wayne Lover. Row nine, you may be seated. Row 10, please stand. <laughs> Michaela Lee Lear. Sunny Lynn Lewis. Aislin Sue Leitner. Sergio Limon Ponce. Mary Jane Violet Elizabeth Lynn.
Madeline Paige Logan. Joseph Franklin Loth III. Jair Jafeth Lozano. Kirby Stephen Lugenbell. Madison Elise Mabe. Eli Gabriel Madrid. Ryan Patrick Mahoney. Ava Ruby Majors. Levi James Manneth. Chelsea Nicole Manning. Joseph Montana Marquez. Sarah May Marshall. Alyssa Nicole Marty. Ava Elaine Marty. Jack Weston Martin. Row 10, you may be seated. Row 11, please stand. <laughs> Jacob Martin. Andere Yamilith Martinez. Emma Grace Matthews. Ty James Magadera. Paige Elizabeth McCarty. Matthew Jacob McCright. Brooklyn, Shayla McKinnis. Juliana Faith McNett. Alexander R. Meadows. Jack Nathaniel Meadows. Tamara Madrano. <laughs> Bailey Dawn Michelle. Mason Paul Michelle. Damian Edward Milak. Eliza Jordan Miller. Langley Ray Miller. Marisa Miller. Timothy Craig Miller. Christopher Alejandro Molina. Anthony Cole Monez. Christian Moore, 
Ella, Grace, Morgan, Peyton, Roger, Morgan, Charles, Matkin, Molly, Camden, Lee, Cannon, Chaos, Musser. Jose Nahera. Faith Nicole Newton. Cameron Thomas Armand Nunez. Marcus Nunez. Zachary Oliveira. Kevin Alexandro Almos. Noah Sylvester Olson. Ian Chia Ohm. Charles Logan Parker. Morgan Shea Parkhill. Megan Michelle Pascal. Ashvi Vivek Patel. Ishva Patel. Benjamin Joshua Peed. Row 12, you may be seated. Row 13, please stand. Tristan Cade Pierce. Courtney Brianne Poe. Anna Elizabeth Presley. Jessica Diane Purvis. Herbert Dave Carante. Jacob Bradley Rainey. Lillian Grace Rasmussen. Olivia Rose Rasmussen. Olivia Julianne Reed. Madison Michelle Ranke. Kylie Marie Riser. Kelly Leanne Rhodes. Amaya Desinia Ring. Rachel Susan Riveros. Andrew Michael Robertson. David Robertson Jr. Joel Braden Robertson.
Row 13, you may be seated. Row 14, please stand. Chanel Cena Robinson. D'Angelo Rodriguez Quillez. Cassie Joe Rott. Jeremiah Alexander Rowe. Abigail Luis Rushing. Devin Joshua Risted. Casey Lee Sadler Jr. Raquel Salvador. Raven Dion Sansusi. Calista Sierra Sap. Cooper Allen Saxton. Kyle Frederick Scarborough. Alexis Brittany Schneider. Ridge Beasley Brett Schroeder. Mercy Alexandra Lene Settles. Patricia Kaylee Angelina Shields Atwood. Jamie Andrea Celino. Bailey Morgan Smith. Elijah Wayne Smith, Wynn Smith. Jeremiah Smith. Row 14, you may be seated. Row 15, please stand. <laughs> Lily Ellen Pearl Smith. Nathaniel James Smith. Adriana Lynn Spear. William Hayes Stark. Michael Gabriel Stepp. Nolan James Storm. Corbin Peterson Stout. Lance Thomas Strahan. Tyler Caleb Strang. Elliot John Struble. Dalen Nathaniel Studevin. Eden Diane Schweitzer. Alma Juliet Tamez. 
Ashlyn Tanner. Grace Elaine Tate. Jonna Ann Taylor. Joshua Thomas. Kaylee Jane Thomas. Ryan Jeffrey Thomas. Seth Martin Thornton. Row 15, you may be seated. Row 16, please stand. Darren Andrew Thorpe. Macy Lynn Todd. Haven Marie Toombs. Emily Giselle Uribe. Anna Elizabeth Vallejo. Jack Ryan Van Sickle. Heather Daniela Villa Torres. Alexander Ceron Velaruz. Madeline Grace Bowles. Caden Mitchell Walker. Taylor Shane Wallace. Joseph David Walsh. Kaylee A. Wheatley. Trevor Scott White. Rafi Wendell Wiggins. Emily Jean Wiley. Devin J. Lauren Wilhite. Brody Don Williams. Nicholas Michael Williams. Joseph Zerius Wilson. Row 16, you may be seated. Row 17, please stand. Simon Lise Wolf. Yeah! Hannah Emily Wood. Samuel Dean Wood. Elijah Tucker Young. Katie Rose Youngblood. Tanner David Zabel. You're at the back. Oh, my bad. I'm with you. All right, you're good. 
we got next? Leslie, Jasmine, Zamudio, go. Joseph, Alan, Youngdahl. Amelia, Bree, Zerby. Can I get the class? Maybe. Can I get the class of? Can I get the class of 2022 to please stand? To signify this great achievement tonight, please go ahead and flip your tassel from the right to the left. We made it. Thank you. 